right now we're looking at the upstairs right now this is all our overflow section of our washers we have in all our different colors and basically what we're trying to do right now is take inventory to make sure we have we're gonna have enough for uh bolt friday it's coming up in what two or three weeks gabe um so basically what we're gonna try and do here is like all right look right here we got a lot of washers right here not as many washers so where there's not as many we're gonna take note of that count out some washers to go get anodized and then we'll go from there jelly sandwich for lunch and if you eat it the next day the bread's not that good so my issue is he's also just gonna have to eat it later i make a sandwich for lunch and then i'm not hungry i don't want a sandwich later because i already had lunch fuck's he in kindergarten who gets full off a of fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch because i like peanut butter and i like jelly that's how you got your sexy ass figure exactly, bro. Yeah. exactly. i'm not trying to eat like four and that's why my figure ain't like that look look my figure i wasn't figure. gonna say it but if Fast we're bringing it up Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Darcy's like, oh yeah, I used to have McDonald's every day when I was a kid. Like, I don't, I don't really, I'm not trying to make a peanut butter and jelly. All right, guys, got the anodizing ready. I'll count it out. Just about to seal up this bag. Print out a paper says how much we got going, how many pieces, what color. Uh, put it in the box and head out. All right, paper's printed for anodizing. That stuff's ready to go. Real quick, I told you guys I'd tell you what happened to my arm. So basically, as you know, been skating more, working here at Downstar, hanging out with the homies at Baker. They gifted me a deck. So got me my own deck put together. First time out my board, well you guys saw the video already where I hurt myself like RC versus gravity or whatever. That was my actual first time on the deck with the wheels or whatever in the showroom and uh, fell on my ass there, hurt my back. Uh, not really hurt my back, but it just hurt. And then uh, going to Arizona, first time at a skate park on the board, everything was going great. Show you the video right here. Got it, son. Damn, and all. Killing it in the video. You know, doing good the whole day, and then all of a sudden, take the pads off and everything. Chilling at the bench, just waiting to head out with the homies. And uh, pads in my right arm, just rolling out. Hit this little, uh, you know, do this little 180 turn on this quarter pipe, and uh, just basic. Been doing it, super comfortable. Wasn't even thinking about it, and that was the problem. I wasn't thinking about it. So did that little 180 turn. The back tail just ended up looping out, and uh, I don't even remember what happened from there because it happened so fast. But uh, basically fractured my elbow. The swelling has uh, gone down on it a little bit. A bunch of fluids all through here. Bunch of pain all through this area and then all the tendons and muscles like I filled in my bicep filled all through the muscles in my arm right here and then my wrist everything going up from my wrist to my elbow so that hurt pretty bad thankfully I didn't break anything in half um, it's already doing pretty good I could stretch it a decent amount and uh, you know just keep working it and I'll probably just deal with the fracture. I don't want to have to put it in a cast and worry about taking a shower in a little corner shower that I have at the apartment. Yeah, I'll just keep the splint on it at night. Try not to irritate it as much as possible. And uh, hopefully not do that again anytime soon. Because I think the next time my arm will probably fold in half. We're going to get this stuff to anodizing. That's probably going to be it for today. Like I said, we're trying to get ready for a Bolt Friday we trying to count out a lot of uh, raw material, get the anodizing, and just try to be prepared as possible. Hopefully this week we'll be getting the Heavy in the Street TG started. Um, get that out of here and get the next project in the shop, and I'm excited to show you guys that one. That one's going to be so kill. Nice and bright. Starting to cool off a little bit out here. Go get this stuff dropped off. Beautiful day. Nice. Back in the hoopty. Last time we were in this shoe, we're headed to Honda. Now we're headed to the anodizer. 
which uh, I'm not sure where that's at. I'm still pretty new to this place. Sorry, guys. I should have came more prepared before I hopped in my car. But uh, I always got to kind of just uh, Google stuff real quick because I don't know that many places yet. Get my handy dandy seatbelt on so I don't go through the windshield. Not that I had to fit. Off to the anodizer. Last time we went here, I was talking about this car getting 380 miles to the tank. This past time going to Phoenix, this thing went 402 miles on a tank, which I put 11 and a half gallons in it when I stopped, and uh, that equaled out to 34 miles a gallon. Pretty stoked about that. That's pretty good to be getting that kind of gas mileage in a older Civic. Well, it's kind of expected because they're known for being great on gas mileage, but uh, just to be hitting those kind of numbers nowadays feels pretty good and seems pretty impressive. So, uh, love this thing. So basically the whole reason I decided to start skateboarding was because when I was younger, I couldn't do it. For whatever reason, I just couldn't skateboard. I didn't have enough balance and falling just wasn't in my agenda. I didn't want to sit there and be falling all the time while trying to learn new tricks or whatever. So, you know, basically I was being a little pinoch about it. I didn't want to get hurt, so I just rode BMX bikes all the time. I didn't fall that much dirt jumping, so I just kept dirt jumping. No need for me to ever be on a skateboard. I had plenty of friends that did enough skateboarding for me, so I just stayed on my bike. I rollerbladed a little bit, built a quarter pipe, had a spine in my yard and everything. So uh, now that I'm a little older, uh, I feel like I could just put things together a little bit and understand a little bit better how it goes. So I want to try skateboarding and, uh, you know, just the joys of being able to do something new that I couldn't do previously. And uh, that was skateboarding, and I always thought it'd be tight to be able to like carve uh, bowls and stuff like that, do like real simple stuff. And uh, that was the whole idea behind me even wanting to try to progress in doing anything in skateboarding. And that's kind of the idea behind me uh, being on camera or whatever. I just want to keep progressing with skateboarding. And uh, if I fall and get hurt, I guess you guys are gonna be able to see that. As long as I don't hurt myself too seriously, because I still need to work. But you know, just because I got a little older and yeah, I could get hurt a little easier and it's gonna take a little longer to heal. I still wanna have fun, you know. Life's about still being able to have fun and uh, pay your bills and uh, being able to live. I wanna start doing stuff that I didn't do when I was younger because I was too scared to do it, too scared to get hurt or whatever. So, uh, you know, I'm just gonna start doing it. All right, we're at the Andizers right now. Get this shit dropped off real quick and uh, maybe get some lunch after this. Who knows? Look, look. Film that thing. This thing? Yeah. So I don't know what that thing was that we just passed. Uh, clearly has some kind of, I think, I think, don't quote me on it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's got the Challenger front end all like molded and everything into it. Uh, if you know what kind of car that was, the original car that it was uh comment below and let us know you know just for the fact that that guy did that front end conversion on that car knowing me and knowing my past i could appreciate execution that guy did a great job on that front end conversion i've seen it before and i looked at it and really if you're building anything it's about execution i appreciate that the most a lot of other people appreciate the most you could build different be different do whatever you want build with your own style just build it with execution in mind. Just quality and execution goes a long ways. Even if it's not somebody else's style, people can always appreciate good quality and execution. All right, guys, we decided on getting in and out burger. It's been a while, sounded fire, and we're passing it, so why not? If you like what we do, like, subscribe, hit the like button, share with your homies, let somebody know, please, because we're gonna be doing this every day, Monday through Friday, dropping at six. Watch with us on the premiere message tell us how you like it on there you know just tell us how we're doing we'd like to hear from you guys